Hey, online Excel team, it's time for another Flashback Friday. Now, this video goes back 11 years. This is back when I didn't edit the videos and the popping on the mic was terrible. But for a little Flashback Friday Excel fun with the average function and how to deal with zeros, blanks, and the amazing Control-Enter keyboard, check out this Flashback Friday. Welcome to YouTube Excel Magic Trick number three. Hey, if you want to get a this workbook downloaded, just click on my channel and then click on my college website and you can download this. Hey, we're going to look at trick number three. It has to do with the average function and go to. Now, what we want to do is we have test one, test two, test three. These are columns of numbers. We want to take the average. Now, watch this. Instead of just doing it in one cell and copying it over, I'm going to highlight all the cells that I want the function to go into. Now, notice it's hard to see in this video, but this is a light color and all the rest are a little bit darker. You always put the formula in the light cell and then when you hit Control Enter, it populates all the cells with the formulas. So here we go. Equals average, A-V-E-R-A-G-E, -E, average. In 2007, you can see a screen tip pops or a, a drop down list pops up and if you hit select one of these and tab it'll put it in I'm gonna hit tab in 2003 and earlier you have to type the whole thing including the open parentheses now I'm gonna highlight the range above not with my mouse but with my keyboard I'm gonna hit the up arrow once and then I'm gonna hold shift and continue to up arrow until I get that many above now watch this I'm gonna put close parentheses that formula now if I hold control and tap enter boom all the cells are populated with our average function just to check I'm gonna click here with says 52.3 and hit my F2 key that all of the cells above now watch this notice these are blanks the average function ignores blanks but let's say that you want zeros in all those cells instead of typing zero and then clicking over here zero etc control Z Z to undo instead of doing that highlight the whole area and there's a magic trick that'll tell that you can tell Excel to go to all blanks the F5 key is go to Ooh, special here's where all the hidden go to tricks are click special click blanks no way click OK look at that all the blank cells are highlighted now type a zero and control enter is our keyboard shortcut that'll populate all the selected cells with the thing you type in so I'm gonna control enter whoa that is like magic now look here our formula just a minute ago had 53 but now it's 37 because now the zeros the average function does not exhort, uh, ignore zeros but it does ignore blanks alright see you next time for our tr next trick